First at 5 o'clock, we're learning new information about what led to the deadly accident during a rescue on the Barton Creek Greenbelt in Austin. Investigators now say the Starflight nurse who fell to her death last week was in a steady spin with the patient she was rescuing. The National Transportation Safety Board released its preliminary report this morning into Kristen McLean's death. KXAN investigator Kevin Schwaller shows us what the NTSB believes led up to this deadly fall. The report starts before the crew leaves for the rescue. It says they did normal equipment checks, then they flew to the green belt. The hoist lowered McLean and the medical equipment to the ground. Now this is video of another operation and what this typically looks like. Now while on the ground, McLean secured the patient and radioed the helicopter to get picked back up. Now the crew extends the hook to her and started to lift her back up. Soon after, McLean and the patient went into a spin. The pilot moved the helicopter forward to try to stop that spin. That's when the person operating the hoist said the spin had almost stopped. But he saw McLean was riding lower than normal, and that's when it says she fell from the line. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN, investigates. The report also confirmed the helicopter had video and voice recorders. Those were sent to a lab in Washington, D.C. And just a few minutes ago, Starflight announced it will return to flying for the first time since McLean's death. KXAN's Angie Bevan joins us live downtown with the details on that. Angie? Well, Shannon, we did just hear from Starflight officials thinking we might hear some reaction to that preliminary report that just came out from NTSB. However, the officials here said they didn't have a specific comment on that, but do, we did learn a lot more about how Starflight plans to move forward. And the big takeaway here, of course, is that Starflight officials announced their return to service. They plan to start helicopter EMS and air ambulance operations tomorrow at 7 o'clock a.m. So that'll be Wednesday at 7 in the morning. The crews today took part in preparation flights for their return to service, and these flights are short in duration and were scheduled to occur throughout the day. However, Starflight will not yet resume the hoisted air rescues like the one in which Kristen McLean died. As they prepare to take flight at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, the Starflight team is having to digest the information from the NTSB report. I think it's a wide range of emotion. Um, as you can imagine, it's difficult. Um, uh, at, at the same time, um, they're, they're ready to move on, uh, to start moving forward and um, start that healing process. And this is part of that is going back to work. Star Flight Director there, Casey Ping, says that they are allowing their crews to decide whether they are ready to go back when they feel comfortable. And again, while they will be sending helicopters up to do EMS work and also air ambulance work, there's no word yet on, well, and when, on when they will start those hoisted rescue operations again. For now, reporting live in downtown Austin, Angie Bevan, KXAN News. All right, Angie, thank you. And you can find more about the ongoing investigation right now on our website. We have links to the NTSB report and to images from the accident scene posted online. You can find that with this story on the front page of KXAN.com.